Right, very good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to uh, another Something for the Weekend, this special uh, Dayton weekend. And uh, as I'll be sh- sh- shortly, sh- 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 shortly leading to Jonathan, um, who uh, loves America. He absolutely loves it, as we all do. In fact, um, going through his video, which you'll see uh, very shortly, it reminded me of how many products we actually buy from the States. Um, uh, we're major distributors for a lot of the big brands, if, if not the majority of the big brands. Uh, and I, I just thought I'd write them down. And it, it, I thought, this is ridiculous. It goes on and on. We've got, of course, Palstar, the ATU manufacturer, Hustler, uh, or Neutronics, who produce the Hustler antennas, LDG. Um, probably the best, or not probably, but the best automatic antenna tuners in the world. Gap antennas, Flex Radio, our friends at Flex, uh, who incidentally, I had a long chat with their uh, sales manager a few evenings ago. A new version of the Maestro, uh, with a different screen, is coming out in a few uh, weeks, maybe a month or so's time, so that'll be back on stock again. Uh, MFJ, of course, been selling um, Martin's um, MFJ products for 40 years plus. Heil, no introduction to Heil. Who doesn't know Bob Heil products, the headset manufacturer, along with Radio Sport, of course, another excellent American uh, headset manufacturer. Uh, West Mountain Radio for all their accessories, DX Engineering, Ditto, their endless stream of hardware accessories. Um, Tigertronics, <clears throat> the USB interface. Um, I've been selling that for such a long time, I've lost count. Array Solutions, of course, with their very, very advanced uh, electronics. Super antennas, um, the portable antenna bags containing lots of bits that allow you to get up quickly on any band from 80 meters through to 70. And um, probably one of the more recent ones, CW Morse. Anyway, without further ado, let's go over to, uh, the reason we're mentioning Dayton, by the way, is that today uh, and yesterday and uh, tomorrow at the weekend, there is the Dayton Hamfest, at least usually there's a Dayton Hamfest. Unfortunately, that's been canceled due to we all know what. I'm sure it'll be back next year with a vengeance. Um, Jonathan and uh, Tony are still very upset because they uh, would be there by now, but instead they're sitting indoors at home, just like me. Um, So let's slide into Jonathan's presentation. He'll go through the products from um, a cross section of the manufacturers. Our stock levels are still good. We've had some major dips um, due to um, difficulties in getting the product in and of course restricted manufacturing uh, at the factories, but they are slowly coming back in. So uh, thank you very, very much for your continued support once again um, in purchasing, and uh, please bear with us whilst we are still rearranging how we work all from home and operating with only three or four people in the whole building. So uh, that isn't so easy, but uh, we're doing it and um, uh, we're enjoying it. It's really hard work. My guys go home from the shop at uh, five, six o'clock in the evening, absolutely worn out. But um, there it is. Why not indeed? They're a lot younger than me. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Over to Jonathan. Hello, I'm Jonathan from Martin Inch and Sons, and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend uh, video. And this week, it is our Dayton special. I know what you're thinking. All right, it's our Staten special. Uh, Obviously, we're staying at home at the moment, and uh, a lot of us uh, are working from home with a skeleton crew in the store. Uh, But that's not going to stop us, and that's not going to stop us having a look at some of the stuff we would have seen at Dayton. Now, Tony and I right now as i record this should be on a flight to uh, uh to jfk actually before they're getting a connection on to uh, to dayton that's obviously not happening for obvious reasons it's 2020 it's the year that things didn't happen uh but i've got my dayton pass on so let's head in to what we've got here and bef- just quickly before we do actually uh, my copy of qst arrived only this morning uh, so i've had a flick through it to uh, uh to find some products to include uh, in this week's something for the weekend video which is and an all-American special. So let's start uh, with uh, this. If I hit the right button there, we'll start with this. So this is the Palstar 82K. Uh, this is, of course, Palstar's 2 kilowatt manual tuner. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. It's good for coax, uh, or if you want, you can add the uh, 
uh, the Balan, either a 4-1 to one or a 1-1 to one current Balan, uh, and use it with a ladder line as well. Special offer, if you buy it with the Balan, either the 4-1 to one or the 1-1, one to one, doesn't matter, you will save yourself 20% off of the price of the Balan. So you save yourself about 20 quid or so off the price of the Balan. The tuner itself in stock at 669.95. And do, while you're on the website, have a look out at all of the Pal Star range. Uh, you've got things like the HF Auto, which is a fantastic, probably the best uh, automatic tuner capable of 1.8 kilowatts. You can shove through it. Uh, but there's the whole range as well. You've got things like the 82KD, the BT1500A. Um, and the, the HF also uh, with the road control unit as well. That's uh, also available. But today, just focusing on uh, the AT2K, and that's the product uh, in the listing if you're watching this in the video, in the email. I'm also going to talk this week about the range of uh, CW Morse keys from CW Morse based in the States. Now, if you've not come across these, these are, uh, these are nice, um, inexpensive uh, Morse keys. They do both straight and uh, paddles. They're 3D printed. They've got these nice optional metal bases. They've got a nice bit of weight to them. But if you if you want something nice and portable, maybe um, remember back in the day we used to have the palm uh, paddles and we used to have the palm keys. Uh, unfortunately, palm got out of business a long time ago. Now these are a, a sort of a replacement for them. Uh, they are uh, extremely well manufactured. They all range in price. You've got uh, $36.95 is about the starting price. The paddles are going to cost you a little bit more at $42.95. A range of colours as well, as you can see on the screen. Uh, and a range of styles as well. If you want uh, the, the straight keys, they've got to either the sort of camel back or the uh, the navy style key. There's a whole load, a whole load of colour options as well. A uh, vast majority of them are in stock. And uh, they do this one as well, which is quite nice. That for 1995, they do what they call the Nano Morse key, the really, really small one. You can see it there against a uh, an American quarter, uh, which is about the same size as one of our ten pence pieces. Uh, if you've never seen a quarter, um, I probably have one somewhere. I could probably go find it in a minute. But uh, yeah, if you um, uh, if you imagine it, about the same size, that coin there is about the same size as a ten pence. You can just see how really small that is. Uh, let's move on. We've also got in stock the Alpha Delta DXB. So this is if you are one on the, the HF bands, but the lower HF bands, 160, 80, 40, maybe even 30 meters as well. Uh, and you want to run it as a sloper. This is a fantastic, um, uh, fantastic choice. It is um, designed for small gardens. It only requires 60 foot of space. So it's well less. Well, it's all between the same size as a half size G5 RV and a full size. So it's just about 10 foot longer than a half size 5 RV. So if you've got a, a smallish garden, then you're probably going to get one of these in. Uh, feed it from a height, ideally with the at the end of it, about 35 foot above the ground, about the same as uh, your gutter height, really. Run it as a sloper, and you'll get absolutely fantastic performance out of it. In stock at £124.95. It comes in a bag, comes with everything you need. We need to really add some coax. And, of course, we always recommend the, the Messi and Poloni uh, Ultraflex 7 for, for HF use. Uh, Ultraflex 10 if you want to use on, on 2 and 70. Ultraflex 13 if you're going above uh, 77s, really. Uh, maybe you don't necessarily care about the lower bands, but you want a bit of a higher band uh, antenna. Well, how about the DXEE from Alpha Delta? Now, the nice thing about the DXCC, the DXEE and the DXDD is they are they're sort of a... Um, a fan dipole. So what that means is you've got a set of elements for, for 40 in this case, a set of elements for 20, 15 and, and 10 in the case of the DXEE. Uh, it's only 40 foot long, so it's less than a half size G5 RV while covering all of the same bands. Uh, but you have got physically more wire up there. It's a heavier antenna as well. So you can use it natively on 40, 20, 15 and 10 without a tuner. And you can add a tuner. And maybe the tuner inside your radio will be good enough. Uh, and you can then get it on 17, uh, on 17, 12 and 30 meters as well. Overall length of 40 foot, as I say, in stock, £154.95. Staying with Alpha Delta, Alpha Delta sorry, I was going to mention to you the uh, Alpha Delta DX Ultra. Now, this is designed for the SWL, designed for the shortwave listener that doesn't need to transmit at all but want something that is very wide range, very wide broadbanded, if you want, um, for receive only. Now, this is uh, fantastic. We'll go from uh, medium way all the way up to, to 30 megs uh, as, a, uh, as, a, as a broadcast dipole, if you want. 
Um, as, as it says there on the screen, efficient loan noise, dipole for military and government use, etc. But you can use it as a shortwave listener as well. Uh, in stock, 16495. Moving away from Alpha Delta, let's talk about uh, tuners. So we've already talked about Palstar. Let's talk about another American manufacturer. I'll talk about LDG. Now, this is the RTRC100. Now, this is LDG's remote tuner. So the idea of this is that you get that box, this uh, this box here. You put that near the feed point of your antenna, uh, and then you have a little control box, the RC100, the remote control bit, uh, which not only has a bias T in it, so it's uh, fed uh, DC down the coax, uh, but it will also do all the like, control um, tuning controls as well down the same coax line it's only that's that's a beauty with uh the rt uh, the ldg uh remote tuner is that you don't need any uh, additional control cable or anything like that just the piece of coax it's all done on the piece of coax i'm actually very uh <laughs> very tempted to get one of these myself i've um i've, I've recently changed a couple of my antennas uh here at uh, in my own shack and uh, i've um, been considering whether i should get an rt100 for my own use uh in the garden uh, as I think that may just improve things slightly. Uh, you can team them up with one of LDG's um, balance as well. Uh, they do a whole range of balance. Do check the website uh, for the balance. They're all about £30, uh, and you can uh, team them up. So maybe you're uh, running something like a, maybe a doublet. Obviously, that's going to have ladder line on the end of it. That's fine. You put a, a, a maybe a four-to-one uh, balance on the end of uh, the ladder line. Short piece of coax into the tuner. Hey, presto. Nice and easy. And the reason that you might want to you go for a remote tuner over either a tuner in the shack or the tuner in the radio is that when you're doing when you've got a tuner in the shack you're also tuning the coax whereas with the remote tuner you are tuning the antenna and you know that your coax is going to have 50 ohms on it uh, which is a really nice solution and say so rt100 in stock 259.95 a really good price for a 100 watt remote tuner that as i say comes with the box comes with the bias t in order to feed uh, the dc down the coax let's talk about tuners that you can have in the shack though and maybe maybe 100 watts is a little bit uh, qrp for you and you want something with a little bit more head ring well how about the ldg 81000 so this is uh, ldg's kilowatt tuner essentially still got the renowned ldg quality will tune about a 10 to 1 mismatch uh, in stock at 529.95 uh, and if you wanted to if you want uh, a, a a linear amplifier at the same time if you buy the uh, acom uh, a700s their brand new solid state uh amplifier you can save yourself 20 percent off of the the ldg when you buy the two together um also quickly mention the at 600 pro 2 so this is similar in many respects to the the 81000 just with that lower um uh, lower power handling it is uh 384.95 it's shown there with the m600 unfortunately the m600 with that big meter uh, is no longer available uh, just the unit itself so when you buy it, you are only getting the tuner that that meter is i say unfortunately lg have discontinued that that meter don't know why question for them uh, but the at600 available from stock now if we talk in america we can't main, we can't not talk about mfj so we've got uh, uh, an mfj product we've got their 993 B. Now, the nice thing about this is that it supports every single manufacturer in terms of uh, interface support. So if you have a Yaesu, if you have an Icon, if you have a Kenwood, even if you have an Alinko, uh, and you want a, a tuner that is going to interface correctly with your radio in the same way that things like the LDG IT100 does with the Icon range, uh, the MFJ 993B will do that. You have to buy the optional cable separately, the interface cable. They normally cost anywhere between, depending on which radio, they're anywhere between about £20 and £70. Uh, but the the base cost of the tuner is 31495 It's quite nice. It's got that nice digital display out, that dot, dot matrix display, I suppose you'd say, uh, which is going to be a really clear indication of, of what the SDR is, as well as cross needles as well. So it's it's possibly a little bit easier to read than maybe some of the LDG models. Again, same similar tuning range, about a 10 to 1 uh, mismatch yours in stock today at 31495 also we'll very quickly talk about west mountain radio uh so west mountain radio we're doing their products for a number of years now uh, this is a personal favorite of mine their their power crimp or pwr crimp it's the crimping tool for power pole connectors uh if you need to install power poles yes you can solder them uh but crimping them on is far far easier uh just 4695 for that and i 
I promise by the time you've used it twice, you will think, how did you ever sold a power poles? Just speaking power poles very quickly, 12 pack, 12 pair pack of power poles, 30 amp connector at £13.95 on the website just there. Now, when the Flex arrived, uh, sorry, when the QST arrived uh, earlier on today, there was a massive advert in it for uh, uh, for Flex. And uh, if I just change my camera angle, you'll be able to see that a bit better. A massive advert for Flex in there, which is nice to see in QST. Well, let's talk about Flex very quickly here. Uh, so we have the whole range of Flex. We've got a brand new delivery due very soon. The most popular in the Flex range is the Flex 6400. Starting price on that is $217995. Uh, and don't forget, if you want the optional ATU, uh, do add it to your basket. It's an extra £370, but that uh, optional ATU is an absolute um, uh, monster. It's, it's, it's a fantastic ATU. There will be no need to use an external ATU with a flex. Very quickly, I also want to mention uh, Array Solutions, their rat pack. So if you need a remote switch, the uh, the rat pack is a fantastic solution. Uh, you have a, a two part to it. So this is the, the main uh, switch itself so that that's what you would remote that's what you put wherever you're going to put the switch uh, and then you have the uh, the control panel separately uh, the 299 price is just for the remote switch so you can interface it with it um, with other solutions if you want to homebrew something if you want the road view controller as well uh, it makes it 38995 you can also have a, a push button controller uh, if i've got a picture of that there you go that's the picture of the push button controller adds a bit more to the price well makes it 49995 all in stock available now and we've also want to push the uh, uh, the Ray Solutions AS303U, which is a, a lightning arrestor for, for less than £100. Uh, will cover, essentially, it covers all of HF and 6 metres. It does go up to 70 megs. You could possibly push it onto 4 metres, but I wouldn't want to. Uh, good for 3 kilowatts of CW, good for 5k of um, a PEP on SSB. Uh, SO239 connects outside. If you want to protect your station from, from lightning strikes or uh, lightning uh, nearby or, or, or anything like that, then it's uh, a fantastic buy. £100 to potentially save your station is, is I think, quite a good uh, price to pay. Uh, and finally, 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 also featured in QSD, but I haven't got the page to hand, uh, is RT Systems and their range of programming software uh, for all the various manufacturers. You name a radio, I guarantee... Maybe not guarantee, but it's highly probable that RT systems have a, a programming software available for it. So everything from the FT3D to the FT818 and the 817 as well. The FT7900 is no longer available brand new, but you can still buy the software for it. Uh, the FT991 and the 991A. Yeah, you name it, there'll, there'll be programming software for it. Uh, you can have a look on our website. Uh, if you just have a search for RT systems, it'll bring up the whole range. Uh, but that is certainly also uh, worth consideration if you're fed up with trying to program your radio, particularly your handheld radio by hand. Maybe you're trying to put a, a number of repeaters into it, let's say. Buy the RT system software, do yourself a favor, and it just it integrates. You can download uh, data from uh, various sources as well, uh, things like RFinder, so you don't have to necessarily be sat there programming everything by hand. You can just import data from the internet makes it an absolute doddle anyway i hope you enjoyed this uh, this sort of walk through of uh, of our of our something for the weekend state and special uh, we are sorry that we can't be in dayton we'd love to be there uh, we uh, we think i think there's a lot of people that would love to be in dayton this weekend uh we're, we're obviously dayton is, is a time where products are released so who knows what's going to happen this weekend i don't know anything please don't take that as anything that's going to be announced i don't know uh but uh, uh, it, normally it's that time of year where things are uh, but we're, we're eagerly awaiting everything as well so uh, as i say uh, the rsgb this weekend are pushing their um the the dayton um qso party uh, they're having over in the state so if you see here any stations do give them a work uh, the rsgb had some details on their twitter feed that i saw earlier on uh, today today's thursday when i'm recording this uh, so you might want to have a look back on the rsgb feed or just have a google of, of dayton qso party I'm sure you'll find it. Right, I need to disappear because I'm going to go and uh, set the antenna up for the 6-metre UKAC this evening. So I'll see you soon. Ta-ra!